At five o'clock, the Georgia Office of Corrections wants your help finding this man right here. This is Melvin Barkley. He's a convicted killer who walked away from his work assignment. He's been missing since last Friday, February 2nd. We want to thank you all so much for joining us this evening. I'm Faith Jesse and I'm Jennifer Bellamy. We want to get you right to our Karis Belger. She is live for us tonight in downtown Atlanta and Karis. A lot of people have questions about why a convicted killer was out on a work release program in the first place. Well, just a few hours ago, I spoke with the Coweta County District Attorney. He tells me based on the terms of the plea agreement, Melvin Barkley should not have been eligible for parole at the transition facility. Melvin Barkley was supposed to return to this building after completing his work assignment last week. But according to authorities, that's not what happened. The victim father, I believe, the victim family at very least, um, came to the office is my understanding. Coweta County District Attorney Herbert Cranford Jr. says he was not aware until recently that Barkley was missing from the transitional center. He also says he was not eligible for parole based on the terms of his plea deal. We frankly regarded this sentence as pretty close to resolving it as a murder, given that it was a 30 year non parolable sentence. And then what we got out of it was the certainty of a conviction. A statement from the Georgia Department of Correction says Barkley was assigned to the transitional center on November 21st of last year based on a prior theft conviction and that he should have been transported back to prison after pleading guilty to a voluntary manslaughter charge. There's currently an investigation into what happened. District Attorney Cranford says his office is willing to help in any way they can with this. If they are asked, the Georgia Department of Corrections Fugitive Unit is currently out looking for Barkley. All right, Karis, thank you so much.